Hello, welcome to my channel Q Analysis and I'm your host Prashant Kumar. So today in this video we are going to talk about dedicated test environment. Why do we need a dedicated test environment? And what is the importance and what, and what are the benefits of having a dedicated environment for testing? Before we start this video, if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, please go ahead and subscribe my channel. If you want to learn more on software testing and quality assurance, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and feel free to share it with your friends and family if you haven't done so. So let's begin our today's video. Dedicated environment for testing and why do we need it? So to find the answer to this question, let's go ahead and see the first slide of this presentation. Test environment requirement. So there are certain requirements which we have to fulfill in order to set up our test environment, which is something like development and testing take place in the same environment. In most of the organization, it is observed that software development and testing take place in the same environment. Environment is closer to dev than being closer to the production. The test environment is closer to the development environment than being closer to the production. One more round of testing needed on the release branch. So often it happens that you develop your test and you go ahead and ex execute all those tests on test environment. And when your software is to be released or the product is to be released in the production, in that case, again, one round of testing is required on the release branch. Multiple changes with multiple builds on multiple environments. This is also one of the basic uh, evolving requirement that there are multiple projects and multiple projects will have multiple builds on multiple environments and then if you have to roll out a big change which is comprising of all these changes then you need something which is dedicated and which should inculcate the changes from all these environments and all these projects so to solve all this purpose to solve all these requirements you need to have a dedicated test environment what exactly we want to achieve by having a dedicated test environment testing should happen closer to production this is the main idea so software testing when it is conducted it is very important that it should happen as close as possible to the production the same production like business scenarios and the real-time testing scenario should be executed on the test environment Deployment from dev to test environment should check all dependencies and or all configuration changes needed for production deployment. So when you have a code which is ready to be deployed or you have a solution which is ready to be deployed in production before even deploying it into production, you should have an environment which is like which, which should behave like a production or should be a replica of production wherein you can deploy it and check all the dependencies, configuration changes before you actually deploy your code or your solution to the production. And this can be achieved via a dedicated test environment. Developers and testers should be able to work more in parallel on separate environments. So when a development and a test environment is separate, then individually developers and testers can work faster and they can work independently at the same time they are working in parallel but if developers and testers they are working on the same environment then often it happens a developer is developing or working on something on the same database on the same environment meanwhile a tester is testing when a tester is finding a bug by the time the bug is reported and the developer is seeing those bugs often it is observed that the bug is no more reproducible. The reason for such kind of scenario is either the test environment has changed by some code which is under experimentation or which has been implementation by dev or somebody from the dev team and the test data got corrupted or the issue which was reported by uh, the tester somehow it got fixed. So it is very ideal to have a separate development environment and a dedicated test environment so that developers and testers they can work in parallel test the code mean for production deployment business users and not the experimental code 
This is also a very important part which we should always consider when we design our test environment. If a test environment is closer to development environment, then what will happen? Whatever changes you are doing, whatever changes are being done by your development team, if it is also experimental change, that will also impact your testing. If you are working on a code or if you are working on a solution, if you are testing it, you are validating and verifying that solution and you observe that the solution has been modified while you were testing it or there are certain new changes or changing requirement or dynamic changes coming into picture then it will be very hard for you to perform a right testing for that change so the test for the code which is under testing it should be isolated from development and it should be done more on a production like environment rather than being done on a development environment and a working test data. Now you should have, if, if you're testing via manual test or you are testing via automation test, in both the scenarios you need working test data. And this data should not be impacted or should not be touched upon by any other development team members or by any of the code which is written by the development team or by somebody else who is working on the same environment. So in order to do that, you should have an isolated or a dedicated test environment in which you can see your working test data and this test data can be used for manual or automated testing and this is a dedicated test data which can be used by you or your team in order to perform validation and verification via manual and automation testing. With this, we come to the next part of our slide which is a bit funny but what we don't want so when we talk about dedicated environment and test environment till now we have discussed what are the points that uh, that are important what are the requirements of a dedicated test environment why do we need it and what are the benefits or what kind of problems are being solved by having a dedicated test environment but what we don't want we don't want to overburden ourselves with a lot of uh, environment configs data and then instead of a working solution to be verified we end up into a mess and instead of passing or or successfully testing we just fall down like this guy and good for nothing right so we don't want that so our environment should not be very bulky. If your environment is exactly like production, that will, then it will become very costly for you to maintain and it will become very bulky in size, which is not an ideal situation. For testing, you don't need that much of data and you don't need the same kind of infrastructure, right? So there are a few things which you don't need and you don't want to fail when you perform your testing. It should be genuine failures only because of something which is not working from the code side or the implementation side that should be reported and you should not fail because of the infrastructure so that should be avoided what is the suggested solution so now we have a suggested solution which is something like this have a test environment which is focused on testing individual components and another environment which can be like on a separate environment, which can be a separate environment or even can be a parallel test environment on the same infrastructure that is focused on testing the whole application, exact replica of the production with the changes to be deployed on production for testing purpose. So in order to understand this uh, proposed or suggested solution, you have to understand three things. You need to have a test environment in which we are testing the individual components and the changes made in the individual components and then we need to have a separate environment wherein system as a whole after all the changes which have been checked verified or validated once it is ready it can be tested on another environment just like a production environment wherein all the features they are available and along with the non-change plus change features together in the production environment the whole application and its all feature can be tested so this is what is the proposed solution 
And to make it more clear, I'd like to show you this diagram, which I believe would be a little more informative and will help you to relate with what we have discussed. So you can see in the extreme left, you have code. So when I say code, it is the code changes or the line of code which have been written by the development team in order to implement a new functionality or in order to fix a bug or in order to do some maintenance work. And then this code should be unit integration or E2E tested to make sure that this code is working fine. Once the code has passed this unit integration or E2E testing phase, the code is ready to be deployed on test environment. And over there on this test environment, the code should be manually or using automation, it can be tested. Post that if the code is ready and the functional testing is passing, then it can be deployed in a production like environment just to make sure that it is working fine and everything is ready like the environment uh, production in my production like environment is supporting all the changes and all the changes in different modules and the system as a whole can be tested it looks perfectly fine and is ready to be deployed and then the QA can provide the sign off and the changes can be deployed into the production but if at all in, in any of the phase right let's say from the coding phase towards this units integration and E2E test, any of the test is failing or any of the functional test is failing for the whole system or for any of the component. In that case, you can, you can apply a code fix and do the recording, make some changes in the code and the cycle is repeated again. So friends, with this, we come to the end of this presentation and I hope you understood the concept of uh, having a dedicated test environment, what is the benefit of having a test environment, which is dedicated for your testing, and how exactly can you achieve the best results out of your software testing by having a dedicated test environment. In case if you have any question, queries, doubts, please feel free to reach me out or add your thoughts in the comment section, and I'll be more than happy to provide my feedback, provide answers to your questions and queries. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do so and feel free to like, share and subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you friends.